Hey guys, and welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Uh, today we're working on getting uh, the torque tube uh, assembly back into the car. Uh, if I can get that accomplished, um, I'll feel like I'm really starting to make some progress on getting the car back together. Uh, so to get us started, <clears throat> I've got the motor tilted back uh, as much as I can. I don't know how well you can see this, but you're going to be limited back here once you've got the heads back on and the valve cover on uh, you'll hit these AC lines I guess they're AC lines or maybe heater hose lines I'm not sure what they are <clears throat> um, back here at the back so you can't tilt the motor back uh, but so far <clears throat> and of course under the car we've got the uh, the torque tube assembly uh, so I'll put a floor jack under the nose of this uh, of course the goal is to jack up, have the torque tube angled upward at the same angle uh, that the engine is pointed downward. <clears throat> and the goal is to get the, obviously everything to, to slide back together. Uh, certainly easier said than done. Uh, so we'll see, like I said, don't forget back here, sorry the lighting's not the best back here. Uh, don't forget you'll need to have the uh, Axles pulled out of the uh, the housing uh, because you have to get them past uh, the AC lines. Depending on how you pull things apart, uh, since not the AC lines, the brake lines. Um, I left the brake lines still in the car, <clears throat> so as this goes upward, um, these brake lines have to pass through because they sit down on the uh, the cradle. Uh, so make sure you've got these pulled out. Um, and then as we begin getting things back into position, obviously there are. A number of sensors uh, that will need to be plugged back in. We've got some here, here. Uh, we've got quite a few things. The sensor that goes back there. Um, we'll get these things plugged back in uh, as we get a little bit closer to being in uh, position. So um, I'll get started. Uh, probably not an easy way to to film this, uh, but I'll check in as I make progress <clears throat> uh, and kind of tell you what I've done and what challenges I've run into. Okay, so as you can see, the torque tube is now installed. Um, quite a bit of work. Now, obviously, I'm uh, working on the garage floor on jack stands, and I'm working by myself. Um, having a helper for this uh, would make it go significantly faster. <clears throat> but it can be done by yourself. Uh, so if that's your situation, then uh, you can do it. <clears throat> um, so obviously, you've got the uh, what's it, five bolts here. Uh, these get put in at 37 foot-pounds. Um, be careful using the bolts. Sometimes it can be tempting. You're still a couple inches out. Um, it can be tempting to use these bolts to help draw the torque tube assembly in. Um, if it's putting up too much resistance, then that's probably an indication that you don't have things lined up uh, quite right. And using the bolts uh, to force the torque tube in, you can end up damaging the clutch disc. Um, or the pallet bearing or damage the um, end of the input shaft uh, inside the, uh, the torque tube. So be careful forcing things. If things aren't sliding together uh, easily, then it's probably a sign things aren't lined up correctly. So you can see I have a, uh, a bottle jack here under the back of the motor. So that can adjust the, uh, the angle of the motor. <clears throat> and then further back, I had a floor jack um, under the kind of mid part of the torque tube assembly so that helps support the uh, the nose so I can adjust that up and down and then I um, also have a floor jack uh, with a cradle on it to support the uh, transmission and differential uh, in that rear uh, subframe assembly um, so I can go up and down with that to help get the angle uh, like I, I needed it to uh, one of the things you'll have to watch out for let me see if I can get the light so that you can see it. I guess you can kind of see it there. So there's a clip right here that holds uh, your brake lines and a fuel line. Uh, that gets in the way. So on the side of the torque tube is a, uh, uh, a shifter module, I guess you'd say. So you have to watch out for that piece as you go up with the torque tube assembly. It will hit that clip and make it difficult um, 
to slab the torque tube assembly forward. Um, so watch out for that. That may be something uh, that you get hung up on. Okay, uh, so we're looking at it from the back of the car now. A couple of things you have to watch out for. Um, so if you followed my method and left the hard brake lines uh, installed in the car, then you've got to watch out for these as you go up with the uh, transmission assembly and the differential. Uh, they can get hung up. They can hit things like this uh, uh, clip here. You've got to watch it on these corners um, here. Not the best lighting, I apologize. <clears throat> um, get this rubber uh, kind of vibration dampener assembly. Uh, you got to watch out that you don't get the line caught on this um, as you go in. Of course, you got to make sure you get all of your uh, electrical connections uh, plugged in. Um, over here, and there's some up there. The biggest thing I can, uh, can point out, <clears throat> if you feel like things aren't going smoothly, uh, stop and make sure you're not hung up on, on something. These brake lines, you don't want to bend them. Uh, don't force anything. <clears throat> if it's being too difficult, then you're probably hung up somewhere. Um, and, you know, pause for a moment. You have to also have to make sure, <clears throat> obviously, the uh, CV axles, half shafts get pulled out from the uh, differential so that you can clear uh, these brake lines. <clears throat> so before you get too high um, with the transmission assembly as you go up, you've got to make sure you go ahead and move the uh, CV axles past the, uh, the hard brake lines. Uh, if you go too high with the differential um, and the, the half shafts are still laid down here, you can't get them past. So overall, if you take your time, uh, it's not that bad. Um, having a helper would make things go much more quickly. <clears throat> um, obviously I still have it uh, the rear cradle is not bolted to the frame yet because <clears throat> I don't have the uh, mufflers in place yet so that'll be my next step I'll put the mufflers in good get those the um, exhaust pipes routed over the differential and then I can <clears throat> put everything back into its final place and go up with the cradle um, and then <clears throat> of course bolt things back together uh, one of the other things that you need to uh, get put back in place before you get the torque tube assembly um, all the way back up in the, the transmission tunnel. <clears throat> if you can see over, I don't know, over there, there's a uh, black wiring harness that's in like a plastic case and it runs down the length of the, uh, the torque tube and fits into uh, clips. If I can kind of point at one there. Um, that's got to be put back in place and if you get the torque tube assembly all the way back up in the transmission tunnel uh, you don't have room with your hands to get on top of it uh, to get that back in place so make sure you address that <clears throat> before you get too far along uh, or you won't have access to uh, to get to it one final thing I'll add so obviously once you get the rear cradle up and in place um, you get the four nuts that um, hold the cradle to the frame of the car uh, those get torqued uh, to 81 foot-pounds, uh, so make sure you go through those. There's, there's four of them uh, total, <clears throat> and then, um, like I said, I, I went ahead and routed the uh, exhaust pipe, <coughs> excuse me, um, before I, I lifted the cradle back into place. It just gives you a little bit more room, uh, since I was, I left mine connected from the, the muffler, um, to the over axle pipe. I uh, left that as one piece that way things stayed uh, lined up but it's, it makes it more of a chore um, to get it back in place uh, even with the cradle drop significantly uh, took some finagling to get that in place but anyway it's done. <clears throat> cradle is back in place those bolts are, are torqued. Still got to do uh, a few little things to make sure all of the, um, the lines and harnesses and stuff are, are routed correctly um, clipped into place. I still got to do a few of those things and then of course the CV axles, the half shafts, uh, I've still got to push back into the uh, differential housing but that's all uh, fairly minor and then I'll move on. I've got to put the uh, transmission um, tunnel plate uh, back in uh, with all those bolts and then I can route some of the exhaust to make sure that's going to line up correctly um, and we'll keep moving on the project.